Hey everybody, you need a party dish that's easy to make and is a real showstopper? Well today, I'm going to put together this beautiful vegetable tea on that will take you from potluck pedestrian to potluck Picasso. It's real easy to put together and everybody's going to love it. So let's get started. This recipe is a real easy to put together and it's also an excellent opportunity to work on your knife skills. There's a ton of slicing to do here so the less experience you have with your knives the longer it's going to take you and this is a very good exercise in repetition which in the end is going to make you a better steel slinger overall. I'm using sort of a classic assortment of vegetables for the tea on today. I've got some red potato, zucchini, crookneck squash, onions and some Roma tomato. But you can add all kinds of vegetables to this. I love adding an eggplant to this. Pretty much any vegetable that's not very watery that you can cut into rounds, you can throw in here. You do want to kind of keep the rounds of all your vegetables of a similar size so it'll cook evenly and it'll look really pretty. So I got my onions all halved and I'm going to slice these into thin half moons. Just over here I've got a little olive oil heating up. It's at about medium heat now and I'm going to get these onions sauteing before I start to cut the other vegetables up. As usual, hit those with a little salt. Now I'll get to work cutting up all the other vegetables and I've got a, a baking sheet here that's big enough that I can make piles of all these vegetables and keep them separate. So we'll get started with the zucchini. Just nip off the ends, both ends. And we're going to cut these into just under quarter inch rounds. Crookneck squash, just the same as the zucchinis. Double speed. Moving on to potatoes, I'll show you a little trick with the potatoes that'll help keep you from cutting yourself. Take the potato and on the lengthwise side, just nick off a little end and make a flat spot. Now that potato doesn't roll around on you. And you can hit that in the same size rounds as everything else. A little nick. Finally, on to our little tomatoes. Oh, and don't forget to stir those onions every few minutes. Snip off that stem end. And again, slice into rounds like everything else. Good sharp knife so they don't smash. start building some flavor here. I'm going to take about three tablespoons of olive oil, a tablespoon each of dried basil and dried oregano, a couple of teaspoons of salt, and I'm going to press several cloves of garlic into this. I'm going to use at least three, but four sounds better. You can make that as garlicky as you like. Ooh. Now I'm just going to kind of whip that together a little. And that I'm going to toss the potatoes in specifically. Get those a little black pepper. And an easier way to do this, I've often just tossed these with some pesto and that's delicious. I want to cook the onions so they get pretty soft, but not totally caramelized. 
So this was 10 or 12 minutes while I was cutting up those vegetables. And right toward the end, I'm gonna throw in a few cloves of chopped up garlic and just let that cook for a minute or so before cutting the heat. So let's put this together. I'm gonna bring in my sauteed onions. Just kind of make an even coating all around the bottom of this pan. Now my vegetables. I want to spread them out a little bit and hit them all with a sprinkling of salt. I'm not going to get every one of them, but it's going to help a lot. And pepper. Okay, now we're very meticulously going to put this together by getting one slice of each of these vegetables. I'll go this order and then we're going to lay this in here and repeat and repeat and repeat until we get this thing filled up. So the first one I'll stand straight up, try to remember I went crooked neck tomato zucchini potato right there again crook neck tomato zucchini potato now when you get close to the end there'll be a little gap here and that's cool because we've got them all standing vertically but to make it look really cool the thing is to lean them down a little. So you need a little space to do that. I'm actually going to take out one of these and see how it goes. Just kind of push them down. Get a little flare going. Yeah, you can see them opening them up. And that's going to give you more color showing. pretty good and then just come into the inside of that and start anew so I kind of lean one this way lean the other that way and that makes a real nice effect just about do. I'll just pop a little potatoes right here in the center. A little core. Now to finish this off I'm just gonna drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. I'm actually gonna hit it with a little more salt. Make sure everybody gets a little bit of salt on there. I'm going to spike it with just a little bit of red chili flakes, optional of course, and then I'm going to just put some fresh herbs here and there. This is a little bit of thyme, some oregano will be fantastic. And now I'm going to hit this with a generous amount of grated parmesan, and I am using the cheap stuff because I just don't feel like putting $15 worth of cheese on my veggie dish today. You probably don't either. But hey, if that's how you roll, <laughs> go for it. I've made non-vegetarian versions of this as well, where I've slid a slice of a linguisa sausage in each of the little sections all the way around, or a slice of pepperoni, and that's delicious as well. But we're going with the original vegetarian version today, and so now I'm going to pop this into a 375 degree oven for an hour, or until those potatoes get nice and tender.
taken this to a potluck and I covered it up while it was piping hot out of the oven, it would stay warm for at least a couple of hours. But then it's still good all the way down to room temperature. And that's why I think this is just a perfect dish for a potluck. I hope you try this and I hope you love it. And if you do, please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.